In this video, we're going to divide four digit numbers by one digit numbers. Here is a number sentence. 3901 divided by five. First, we need to draw our bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. And we put the number we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. So what we need to do is find out how many times our divisor fits into these numbers. So how many fives go into three? Five doesn't go into three, so instead we'll work out how many times five goes into 39. Five goes into 39 seven times, with four left over. Notice how the number zero has now become the number 40. So now we work out how many fives go into 40. 5 goes into 40 8 times. So now we can work out how many fives go into 1. 5 goes into 1 0 times, so we have 1 left over, which is our remainder. So the answer is 780 with the remainder of 1. Let's have a recap on the key vocabulary used. We have the dividend, which is the number that's being divided. Then we have the divisor, which is the number that we're dividing it by. And when we divide one number by another, the answer is called the quotient. Let's have a look at another example. 6525 divided by 4. First, we need to draw our bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. And we put the number we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. So what we need to do is find out how many times our divisor fits into these numbers. So how many fours go into six? Four goes into six once, with two left over. So now we can work out how many fours go into 25. Four goes into 25 six times, with one left over. So now we can work out how many fours go into 12. Four goes into 12 three times. So now we can work out how many fours go into five. Four goes into five once, with one left over, so one is the remainder. So the answer is 1,631, with a remainder of one. Let's have a look at one more example. 8,287 divided by three. First, we need to draw our bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. And we put the number we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. So what we need to do is find out how many times our divisor fits into these numbers. If you have a pen and paper to hand, pause the video and have a go at working out the answer. Write your answer in the comment section below. So how many threes go into eight? Three goes into eight twice, with two left over. So now we can work out how many threes go into 22. Three goes into 22 seven times with one left over. So now we can work out how many threes go into 18. Three goes into 18 six times. Then we need to work out how many threes go into seven. Three goes into seven twice with one left over. So one is our remainder. So the answer is 2,762 with a remainder of one.